So you guys probably know that over the last few weeks, AI has exploded in popularity. Not only can it create amazing images from only a few words, but it can also scan the internet and bring back specific answers to some of the most complicated subjects. And it got me thinking, us as expats, can we use this to help improve our life living in Asia? In addition, I'm interested to know if AI can give more specific and more accurate advice than I can. And if the answer is yes, how can we as expats use this to our advantage? So let's say I'm thinking of moving to Thailand or the Philippines. As a traveller, I don't have time to go through all of these web pages to try and find the right information. So instead, I'm going to use a software called ChatGTP. And there are five questions that I want to know. So the first question is, what is the average cost of living in the Philippines? So let's see what the AI thinks about this. So as you can see, it's given us an answer, but it doesn't actually say how much so let's see if we can find out how much US dollars it will be per month. So unfortunately the information about this query is not up to date and due to the exchange rates it cannot give us an accurate price. But let's see if it can tell us about any safety information about Thailand. So as we can see it's pretty much said yeah it's a safe country to visit however here are some tips if you want to stay safe. But what about if we ask it a question that's related to data? Will that be easier for the AI to find out? So with this question, it's come back with a lot of information and it's really useful. We can see the actual how much this rained. We can also see the best time to go, the times to avoid. So again, if you're planning to go to Thailand, you could in theory use this information to plan your trip. However, question four is a challenge because some of the top videos on this channel talk about dating and more specifically dating a Filipina. So I'm interested to see what information AI is going to tell me. So already we can see some great information. The first one, respect her culture, talks a little bit about that. Be a gentleman, be patient, show interest in the family. You know, at the end of the day, it is something that you could find useful if you've never gone to the Philippines and you don't know about the culture and you're thinking, yeah, you know, what is the best way to date a Filipino or are there any tips? So let's try our last question. Can foreigners retire in Vietnam? So the AI has basically said, yes, foreigners can retire in Vietnam, goes on to about retirement visa, you have to be 50 years of age and so on. And this unfortunately is one of the barriers to AI because this information is not correct. I'm sure very soon we will be able to put our lifestyle, a few bits of information about ourselves into this AI and it will literally predict how much we're gonna need to live in Thailand or Philippines or Cambodia or wherever. In fact, one website does a kind of watered down version of this. So you may have come across this website before. I'll make sure that I add a link in the description below. But basically, it lets you put two different locations in and compare the prices based on publicly inputted data. But the question is, are there any other AIs that can be useful for you now if you live in Asia or any AIs that can be useful if you're going to live in Asia? One that I came across during my research was a handy site called buildai.space. And again, I'll put the link in the description below. So on this webpage, it lets you plan your trip. So I've said that I wanna stay seven nights in Manila and two nights in Cebu. So as we can see, we've got quite a lot of different options. The first day, some activities, the times. But if you're looking for any other tools, whether they're travel related or not, you could use a site called futurepedia.io. Artificial intelligence is one of those things that people either love, hate or fear, or potentially all free. And you may be thinking to yourself, well, yeah, as an expat, what use is it to me? If I'm gonna go to Thailand or the Philippines or where, whatever country I decide to go to, how is it gonna be useful for me? So I spoke to a few expat friends of mine and asked them what their opinion was. And I found out that one of my friends was actually using one of the AIs to help him set up a business in Thailand. Now this is a business and you may not be interested in a business, but what about starting a new language or finding health insurance or finding a bank that's open to foreigners. So what do you think? Do you think this is just a hype or do you think this is going to really help expats all across the world? 